Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. We've gone through the first barrage of rounds. Warren is the victor from the Allied forces. Shinzo, the victor of the Empire of the Rising Sun forces. We're going to see how these two mesh out. The winner of this best of three is going to go against Moskven. And uh, yeah, that'll determine who the quote unquote best of the best is for this AI. Best of three, Red Alert three, tournament... Holy crap, I think I got everything that time. All right, let's just have at it. Oh, um... Yeah, Shinzo can be deep blue, that's fine. Okay, let's see what we got. Out of Warren, I expect to see a barracks. Oh, this... No, that's about a barracks, isn't it? Yeah, barracks and then power plant. Shinzo, same thing as before. Power dojo power... Refinery, refinery. Uh, right. You need a power plant in order to build the refinery core. So now, refinery core, refinery core, out of Warren. I expect to see engineers and dogs. Yep, right away. So Warren's going to be a bit more in the money. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. The refinery cores will come online before the allied refinery does, I think. Nope, take that back. <laughs> Uh, I don't see a power plant yet. Oh, yeah, there we are. Um, I forgot what the trade-off is. Like, Soviets build in place, so to speak. And because they build in place, their stuff builds faster. I think it's something like that. Okay, so now we're already seeing some harassment. Uh, the Allies have the Javelin infantry to contest. So, that whole little shenanigan -y trick is not going to work out as well as... I think Shinzo might have hoped. Does Warren have a lock? I don't see Warren. Nope, too late on that. Okay, a handful of dogs and some javelin might be enough to get the job done over there. But you'd have to move real, real quick. So, where are we at right now? Both have an oil derrick. Both have two refineries set up. So we're at pretty even economic control right now. Mecha Bay going up for Shinzo. Uh, we've already got a war factory or an armor facility for Warren. Uh, this could be this could be pretty pretty aggressive if he moves in, loads up all the infantry, and goes for a rush. We'll see a third ACV, and then an attack. Yep. Gonna be a little bit before an expansion comes out of Warren, I'm sure. But those three ACVs could do some real serious damage against these infantry. Also, do I ears deceive me, or did I just hear a Jet Tengu? Yep, bing, Jet Tengu right there, and a second one coming off the line. Yeah, those ACVs could do some pretty good damage against that infantry if they just turned around and started firing. Oh, it's an engineer. Oh my gosh, at the, at the moment, his uh, yellow briefcase meshed with the skin, and it looked like it was the Incredible Hulk, but only on one side. Okay. Jatengu's maybe for some harassment. A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. Just... Yep, that ended that. A little bit of harassment over here. Okay, first prospector heading out for the expansion point. See, if his troops just stopped and fired, this would be a different conversation entirely. Holy crap. The engineer with nine lives. Seriously. Put him in an ACV, you fool. Okay, Warren having a really good diversity of units here. This actually might give Sh uh, Shinzo a really bad shake. Seriously, send five javelins with all this? I think you got it made. Did you lose your engineer? Gosh, I told you to treat your engineer right or you'll lose them. Uh, ACVs are a bad matchup against these tank tank busters. Oh, the engineer's right there. Okay. Um, so anyway, yep, there's the refinery coming online. So that's three economic points for Warren. I don't see... I don't see any expansions in the works for Shinzo. So right now... Warren's in the lead economically. 
And I think his engineer is somewhere around here. And he's about to take that second... Second oil derrick. Ooh, poor pupper. Yeah, three of these with the chain guns. Beautiful. Well, I just took out two tank busters without any problem at all. Uh, somebody gonna defend this engineer? Somebody gonna defend this engineer? Somebody gonna defend this engineer? That was risky. Okay. Engineer on the move. Warren really showing some strong strides here. Shutting down an engineer attempt from Shinzo right there. Third economic expansion getting into use. Right here, just that little bit of disruption. Right there. There's whole seconds passing right now where Shinzo's not making any money. That is that is a that's a power strat for sure. What did Shinzo lose there? One harvest? One and a half harvest? Something like that? You don't always have to kill your opponent, but if you can get in there and cause a little ruckus. Okay, tsunami tanks, time to retreat. Get some javelin troopers up here, and you'll be fine. Uh, Shinzo moving in with a fair amount. Oh, Vindicators already. Interesting. Oh, Rip Engineer. Rip Engineer. Okay, if I had to call it right now, Warren's looking real, real strong. Uh, three Vindicators already. And tanks. Oof. Uh, I don't think Shinzo has enough resources to make this fly. He has three harvesting facilities. But not enough unit diversity. Yeah, definitely need more mechas. More mecha tangus. Oh, why did you deploy up? And why are you not moving? So you could get that one Vindicator and then not kill it? Oh, wow, you did kill it. Yeah, these laser locked. Oh, never mind. I was like, these laser locked uh, javelins are just gonna annihilate. Okay, Warren still with three expansions. Shinzo getting his third. Warren still has two oil derricks under his belt. And with those vindicators, he could just pop infantry all day, all night. Okay. Chopper VX on the field. A sudden transport. We have yet to see the sudden transport be used. It gets built, but it doesn't do anything. Like, the AI just doesn't know how to use an APC to save its life. Okay, if that thing transforms, y'all are nutted. Huh? Yeah. Interesting. Uh... uh yeah. Warren doing the most offense here, and an Apollo Fighter. Yep, Apollo Fighters are going to change the paradigm of whether or not any amount of Mecha Tangu or Jet Tangu is going to be worthwhile. Vindicator's putting a bit of good work in. I don't, I don't know what Shinzo could do right now to make this work. Setting up another refinery area. That works. It's going to be some good money. Warren's already ahead, though. Doing the same. Warren doing a pretty good job with the Air Force. I'm actually pretty impressed. Athena Cannon, as expected. As expected. Not seeing any strong takers here. I'm not seeing a King Oni. I don't see a Nanotech Core. I see a lot of power plants, which I don't know if I need to see that many power plants. Yep, that did some really good damage. Every dollar counts. This is... this is... So nerve-wracking and exciting and oh my gosh. OK, 
count two Vindicators. I wonder where that Apollo went. There it is. Oh, okay, so we have three Vindicators and Apollo. A Mirage Tank! Hey! First time we've seen a Mirage Tank. Seen a Mamumunumu. Mirage Tanks are fun. They kind of were the Mary of Mirage Tanks and Prism Tanks from Red Alert 2. Uh, they didn't have as much ungodly range, but when maxed out, they kind of had the Prism effect. And being able to Mirage other units. Oh, so good. Okay, so again, the Sudden Transport. Uh, Proton Collider. Built by Warren. Ready in under six minutes. Or your money back. Okay, so this guy went all the way around to get money. Interesting. Interesting. In terms of raw forces, unfortunately for Shinzo, Warren's just gonna pick him apart with with absolute ownage with those Vindicators. Yeah, that's a damn shame. I, I don't think there's anything that can happen here to make this work. Uh, two King Onis and three Striker VXs, maybe? Oh, puppy! Okay, Shinzo attempting to expand literally anywhere he can. Just trying to make a little bit of coin. I was wondering if we'd see a Mirage tank. Oh, we're seeing a few of them. Nice. Oh, what that icon was up there. Was it a desync? Even though I'm playing a skirmish? That would be funny. Now, as I said before, with the Vindicators, we're now seeing the same thing with the Chopper V. Oh, why did you. De oh, I see. That was an Apollo. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> but same thing, right? Now. Because of how the battle triangle works, and only certain units can attack certain units. Oh, you're toast. Yeah, Athena cannons fire pretty quick, actually. Mirage tank, you want to deal with this? Because you totally can. Yeah, see? Kind of that prism-y kind of effect. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Warren has a ton of stuff. And I don't really see much here for Shinzo. I've been keeping an eye on the minimap. I'm not seeing much. Okay. Mirage tanks work one or two way strike mode. Combat and ambush gains... Okay. So there's a gap generator, which cloaks uh, allies around. And then there's a normal strike mode, where if you just leave it alone, it turns into a tree. So having these things sprinkled about the battlefield is pretty incredible. Especially if you know if the map has a lot of foliage on it already. I wonder what the point any of that was. Oh, and Tanya! Hey, first time we've seen Tanya this match. It happened again. I wonder what that... I'll have to check that out. But there's an icon that flashes in the upper left. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it does. I've never seen that before. Oh, you know what? Maybe I lost connection to the Origin servers, which happens all the time. Okay, Mirage Tank got one shot off, because it conga-lined, like a chump. Now, why these tanks aren't firing? Tanya, you want to kill some infantry, or...? <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. Tanya could have gotten both the power plants in the War Factory by now. Well, two minutes until the Proton Collider is ready. Maybe this is a moot point. Oh no, Athena Cannon got left behind! What's your secondary? Oh yeah, Aegis Shield. Oh, that's adorable, or whatever. A lot of power infrastructure going away from the main base. I don't know how I feel about that. 
Uh, maybe that's good a good idea in case a super weapon or something. You know, super weapon cracks off at the main base. That way you don't lose all your power. Diversification of power infrastructure is never a bad thing, but you have to be really careful when you do it. Okay, round two from Warren. Jinzo attempting to bunker up a little bit. Not the worst thing I've seen all day. Quick expansion here. Defender core getting moved. If this keeps up, this might actually be doable for Shinzu. Shinzo. Why do I keep saying Shinzu? It's an O, not a U. There's a lot of Athena cannons there. Ironically enough, Athena cannons cannot attack the sky, even though the beam comes down from the sky. Yeah, this is a good mix of infantry and hardware. I think this, this is enough to get the job done. I would love to see a Shogun battleship. I think that would be a game changer. Uh, it's harder to tell what the level of upgrade is for the allies, because the upgrade comes from the command center, or the construction yard. Uh, it doesn't tell me what level... Oh, there we go, three. Level three, yeah. Alright, I see it now. Uh, does this have its levels plainly displayed? Not, uh, not really, a little hard to tell. Anyway, that's not where the action is. What the hell happened? You lose three Athenas? Oh my god, why? Why Why are you charging in with an artillery unit? Warren, you dumbass! You deserve that! Attack, 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 attack. Oh my gosh. Now you're just losing units left and right for no reason. Ugh. Oh, I was kind of rooting for Warren because I was really impressed with how the last match went. With him against Giles, and then him against Lissette. But this is a little infuriating. <laughs> just go on. One damage. Just pop off that Mirage tank. Oh, or... Don't. Okay, are these two Athenas gonna be enough to change the tide? Like, Warren's just picking apart Shinzo a little bit at a time. But not really so much that it's like, oh yeah, this sweep is gonna do it. Oh, look, a little mini! A little mini Chopper VX! Oh, now it's a big boy. Those bombs, definitely better against structures. Something that's immobile. Okay, Tanya was able to clean the clock out of that refinery. Yeah, what we should see more here is asserted dominance. Oh, that's what happened. The proton collider, I'm sure. Right? <laughs> I've no idea. I've been bouncing back and forth with a lot of these mini battles that have been going on. A little hard to track, but I'm pretty sure that's already fired. Anywho. Um, what we should see right now is a better exertion of force against economics. Oh! Proton collider down! Holy cow! Interesting. That's the first time we've seen a super weapon fall mid-match. Like, at the very tail end when everything's getting cleaned up, sure. But that is interesting. I wonder if Shinzo can make it work. I don't see really any standing army except a couple of tsunami tanks. And no real base defenses. But he does have four harvesting points. So money is being made. Just not a lot of it. Yeah, unfortunately for Shinzo, his troops and his units are kind of getting picked apart here. Unfortunate. And we're still in the first match, mind you. <laughs> I thought I heard a shrunken unit. <laughs> Run him over. I wonder if I can only hear the words when a unit is shrunk. <laughs> Look at the little tsunami tank, it's so cute. Show your banner. <laughs>
Okay, yep. Heating up the refineries, that's exactly what I would have expected. For sure, yep. Now we're going to see a very definitive decline of power over the next five minutes. Why five minutes? Because it usually takes at least a minute or two for all that economic change to take effect. Less... Uh... Less time required if you just take out a freaking production facility. Yep, there's Tanya doing her thing. MCV will not retreat because it doesn't take any damage until it's dead. And since Tanya can swim... Oh, we've got a whole naval force here. Hydrofoil, that's what I was trying to think of. That's the anti-air and stun ability. Watercraft. There's some Athena having a grand old time. Yep, that's that. Very interesting fight. Very interesting fight. I did not know how this was going to pan out. But... Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I... I I thought Shinzo could pull it out, could pull through, it just wasn't in the cards. Yeah, first round goes to Warren. Yep, and there's the stunner. AA gun is standard. Did you switch? Weapon Jammer is what it's called. Yep, that's it. Ugh. Good fight, Shinzo, but it didn't, it just wasn't in your, wasn't in your favor. Resources. Pretty, actually pretty close all the way through. Not too terrible, but Warren was just making the smarter moves, hitting out the economy, just getting the work done. So, that is one of three to Warren. Let's see what the next round will bring us. Standard power dojo, power refinery, refinery. And then barracks, uh, power refinery, war factory? Oh, scout planes. Yep. I thought I'd see those more regularly, but yeah, I don't really see those too often. Uh, so yeah, definitely refinery this go. Interesting matchup so far. Like I said, I haven't been disappointed at all. Uh, a little, a little thing here and there I'd change when it comes to AI, now that I've been watching them and just not, like, playing or anything. But really observing. Only a few things I'd change to make them more viable. I think. I think if Naomi got her third refinery core out earlier, I think she would have been much more viable against Kenji. Uh, I don't know if she would have won against Shinzo with the whole naval thing. But I think it would have been interesting all the same. There's enough javelin infantry. The burst drone tech isn't going to work. Both players have captured up their oil derrick. That's a $500 finder's fee and 15 monies every, what, two seconds or something? One and a half seconds? I don't know. But... That still is a good chunk of cash. Mecha Bay Core about to be produced by Shinzo. The armor facility already produced by Warren and already kicking out Riptide ACVs. Yeah, it's one of my favorite rush strats. Kick out four ACVs. Uh, have like three infantry in all of them, so it's evenly distributed. Have like three peacekeepers. Let's see, six peacekeepers and six javelins, something like that. Or six peacekeepers and three javelin would be fine too. Rush in, deploy, and that's a whole lot of static the enemy has to deal with. Uh, where are Warren's infantry? Is this one guy it? Huh, I guess so. Could have sworn he would have had some javelins by now. Uh, these three ACVs might be an alright max match, uh, matchup against this, as long as they take out the tank buster first. See, th that that's killer. That, that'll kill this whole little squad here. 
that whole attack retreat thing. Oh, then also leading with your engineer's a problem. Also, this guy having a conniption fit's a problem. Gosh, man, take your seizure medication or something. You're losing your mind. Just cannot path past that fence. You're serious. You're leading... You're gonna let Warren lead with the engineer. Some jet tangoos to boot. I think they could have easily killed that... What the hell are you doing here? Prospector? Okay, you're gonna let the engineer take. That's funny. Is that just a loose prospector? No, that's not a real prospector. That has to be a sudden transport. There's no way that's a real transport. Or a real prospector. I'm gonna keep an eye on you in a minute. Holy crap, it is. What the heck was it doing over here? If you deploy, I'm gonna lose my mind. Yep, okay. I... I don't have words. Okay, at this current moment, Warren controls two refinery spots and two oil derricks. Shinzo controls his two refinery spots. Uh, Warren is about to complete an expansion point here. If once that goes online, another refinery can be placed, no issue. This is a little more sloppy, I think, than it was last game. Yeah, those tank busters are going to shred these ACVs, I think. I mean, they would if you had a few more of them. Okay, a lot of back and forth, not willing to call who wins or owns what yet, but Warren has his third refinery online. That, That's a huge boost. That's a huge boost. Literally increases co economy by 50% just from the refinery side, not to mention the... Not to mention the oil derrick side. From an economic perspective alone, I think Warren has been showing off... Yeah, there's a third oil refinery for Shinzo. I think Warren has been showing off being more economically sound. Uh, the expansions, both the refineries and the oil derricks and everything. Just, just getting more resources into the shop to then do what you want to do with them later. I think it's more important in these kinds of matchups. These battles themselves have been pretty even, I think. I think Shinzo makes as, just as many stupid mistakes as Warren. <laughs> Though I really wish I would see more unit diversity. Literally this, three tanks, four IFVs, you win. Uh, when it comes to Shinzo, I've seen a fair, I mean, some mecha tangus here, a tsunami tank here or there, more tank busters, probably. Warren also seems to be a lot more on the prowl when it comes to patrolling units. And this is going to be his, what, fourth economic base? What is this guy's problem? Just anywhere, man. <laughs> Holy crap. That was an epic in itself. Okay, starting to see some air force, some active air force from both sides. Yep, those tsunami tanks are going to easily counter off these ACVs. <laughs> wow, it was just like a Pac-Man chase. Some units go to the left, some units go to the right, some units go to the left. I didn't mean to right-click there, sorry about that. That is crazy. Alright. Uh, these units will be enough to take care of those tsunami tanks if they attack all together. Oh my gosh, that was a mistake. Can I eject them? Can I mess with that? What if I hit F? No, okay. I was like, that'd be funny if I could control them. Lots of power infrastructure over there. We have the air base. Oh, the defense bureau. Yep, I see that. What else do we have here? We're at level 2 tech at the Dojo Core and Mecha Bay Core. I don't see... 
I don't see the nano... Nanotech facility. Nanotech mainframe. So Warren's a bit ahead in the tech tree as well. Uh, fourth expansion economically for Shinzo right there. Man, it is hard to follow these units when they just jump around like that. Yeah, Apollos can absolutely shred. Absolutely shred uh, burst drones. Proton Collider on the clock. Let's see move with that Apollo. Yeah, it didn't didn't cut mustard. Maybe with the uh back to base ability. It might have done something, but nope. Okay, sudden transport. I see a pretty open base here. Drop off some engineers and this could change the entire game. Drop off some engineers. Just nothing? What? <laughs> Golden opportunity here. Okay, those airplanes are just gonna smash. <laughs> this is the worst scouting mission ever. Okay, there you go. That's something. And now you're gonna get run over by the prospector. Oh, a sentry bomber. Okay. Uh, is that the first sentry bomber we've seen? I am not sure. But cool, a sentry bomber. Yeah, friendly fire is a thing. Jinzo making another expansion point here. Good timing on us. Uh, that's going to put Shinzo ahead of economics. Actually making having more refinery spots. Considering all of the oil derricks are blown up? Yeah. Okay. First real run of the Sentry Bomber. What do we have here? What are you going to do? Power? Power is a good choice. Yeah, really need two of them to clean the clock. Which is fun fortunate, but that's okay. It's a lot of free damage. Uh, Sentry Bomber has a lot of health. Oh, it's two Sentry Bombers. Nice. Is Warren doubling down on Air Force? Nope, just still the one Air Force pad. So here's the thing. 3 minutes 30 seconds. I don't see any anti-air at all. I see a Tanya. I see a Vindicator. I see two Sentry Bombers. I see a lot of Striker action going on. This could be really dicey for Warren. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This could be, this could be game over for Warren if he doesn't play his cards right. Oh my gosh, that was close. You almost cleaned Tanya's clock and not in a good way. Uh, can Tanya just blow up vehicles? I forget. Oh, Tanya, you're freaking immune to tank fire. Get back in there. Okay, Emperor's Rage is on. That was a perfect waste of a Tanya. Good job. And a Mirage tank that's not going to fire. Warren is going to have to do a lot of micromanagement to get this to work. Now let's check over Shinzo. Because I've been paying a lot of attention to Warren. Uh, still not seeing a nanotech mainframe. Which is fine. You don't need it. It's nice to have. I'm also not seeing any naval units. So Shinzo is definitely mainstay land. Um, well, main <laughs> land and air, because air units come out of the factory as well. I honestly think uh, Shinzo's got this in the books. Uh, Warren's going to have to pull a lot of work, a lot of weekends, in order for this to fly. Wowzers, yep. 
Oh, infiltration happened. Under two minutes. Two minutes under. To get the Proton Collider online. I don't, you know, I don't know if that'll be enough to change the game. Yeah, it takes you offline for, what, like 30 seconds? Which could be enough to buy you time to either throw in a bombing run or something. Yeah. Need some definite anti-air to handle this, an anti-vehicle. So maybe some of the defensive batteries would help. Would help Warren a bit. Uh, more power. Okay. Not really seeing any tech ups. Oh, Warren's still being cheeky cheeky. Oh, a spectrum tower. Ah, huh, our first spectrum tower. Nice. Okay, Warren is just offline right now. It's not due to any infiltration. He's just offline. That Spectrum Tower took him out. Uh, especially when he really, really needs another Spectrum Tower. Okay. When he really needed uh, the Proton Collider. Honestly, the only thing that's going to save him now is that full Proton Collider. Because this is a problem against this. Those Tsunami Tanks are going to shred. There's also... What else? Where are those Stinger... Or uh, Strikers? Oh, this is a problem. And still no anti-air to speak of, yeah. Uh, oh, he does have the one... He does have the one, um... Apollo. 30 seconds, holy crap. I think 30 seconds is all it's honestly gonna take to ruin... To ruin Warren if Shinzo moved. Okay, Sh uh, Warren making some gutsy moves, hitting up economy. But Shinzo's doing the same thing right here. Oh man, 10 seconds, 10 seconds to Proton Collider. Could easily hit that power, that's what I'm saying, could have easily shut that down. Not where I would have shot it, but took out another refinery. That's not bad. Man. Yep, this is an issue. Okay, Spectrum Towers are neat. Man, the situation is freaking so desperate right now. I'm li I'm I'm literally biting my fingernails. Like I I don't know how this is going to go. Another 5 minutes and some change for another proton collider. I honestly don't think Warren's going to stick around long enough for that to be a thing. That was stupid crazy. All right, there's one, two, two, three, four refinery areas for Warren and one for Shinzo. Wow, uh, two, two for Shinzo. That changed the paradigm really quickly. This, I, this is more than enough to finish off Warren. He has no anti-air at all. Oh, the one, oh, he still has the one Apollo maybe? Yeah, this is too much. Oh my gosh. The enemy never ceases to amaze me. And now this Mirage tank can go to town? That was a gutsy move. I, I don't know what I think about that, but that was a gutsy move. Uh, even if even if we're four minutes in and Warren gets another shot with a Proton Collider, I don't think it's going to fly. I don't, I don't think it's going to work. Oh man, but I am willing to watch, and I'm willing to find out. Stay tuned to find out more. I will. Thank you. I will. That was such a silly, silly move.
Okay, now what? Warren doesn't have any more of an air force. He has one Mirage tank that's banged all the crap. Oh, that was close. Okay, has one sentry bomber left. He kind of has enough money coming in. Way more than Shinzo. Okay, so where would you use the particle collider, right? Get him in the economy? Get him right here? Get him right here so he can't build any more vehicles, maybe? Until he's got to rebuild the whole darn thing? That's a lot of free damage. Wow. There's a stupid amount of free damage that happened right there. Man, dumb mistakes. Dumb mistakes, dumb mistakes. Oh, he's got two sentry bombers. Okay, he can keep rebuilding. Man. <laughs> Honestly, I thought this was going to be Warren. And then I was thinking Shinzo. And now I'm thinking Warren again. Yeah, if you could just sentry bomb all the power. And then particle can, er... Proton Collider out whatever other infrastructure is left and just bleed them dry. That would work. That's insane. I can't, I can't honestly believe Shinzo wasn't able to pull this off. With all of those chopper VXs. Ugh. It's, it's frustratingly dumb is what it is. And now Warren could just crank out more sentry bombers, right? And a Tanya, for some reason. That makes sense. Oh, all he's building is sentry bombers. Yep, that's all he has. He doesn't have any anti-air whatsoever. Man, talk about doubling down on a on a weird idea, right? Okay. Uh I'm gonna guess Shinzo just has no money. I'm not seeing anything get built. Oh, there it is. A tsunami tank. Interesting. Yeah, the thing with the sentry bombers is they've got enough hit points. It's kind of a nil issue. Oh, you missed. Good job. It's kind of a nil issue against a single VX. I thought that was an engineer. Uh, 30 seconds to proton collider. Is that an Athena trying to target? Maybe? See, where's the anti-air? This one chopper is going to ruin everything. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yep, I see it now. Okay, if it were me, hit him in the economy. Hit him back here. Get the power as well. Clean that out. Yeah, this is it. This is for Warren. He's dead. What is with these lasers? <laughs> I think Warren's got this in the bet. Yep, there's nothing left except out here. <laughs> They're morphing into stones. <laughs> oh, go get him, puppy. Yeah. Give him what for. Oh, no. The harvester's gonna come out just to kill the puppy? That's so cruel. You got it, Tanya. Okay. Uh, that's it. Warren has this one done and done. Uh, yeah. So, that means Warren is going to face off Moskvin for the finals. Uh, how's that gonna pan out? I don't know. I I don't know. We... <laughs> look at those resources. That's, that's what I like to see. Just lockstep all the way through. That's a good fight. I honestly think this should've went to Shinzo, but... Hey, it is what it is. So, thanks for joining me. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a small break and we'll kick off with the final round. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.